<laughs> We're going to head to Perth. Uh, Matt Prittis, the most decorated eagle of all, a Brownlow medalist. He picked up another Glendening medal in his 200th game. It's hard to imagine that his milestone could have gone any better. For 200 games, where he's come from, what he's achieved, he's, uh, he's a great role model for the club and for the AFL, and for any young kids coming through. To see how he goes about it, I'm sure every club has their, their own warriors, but he's ours. Picked up by Prittis, stepped through one, here's a chance, here's a chance. Prittis, oh yes, the Brownlow medalist, he's on his way to another three. Just a really a proud moment, I suppose, um, being able to run out with my two daughters. Um, you know, the response from family and friends and everyone involved with the club has been really, um, it's great. I am um, just so proud um, and honoured to play for this footy club. They helped me realise, you know, your childhood dream. Um, so I'm really grateful for that. You know, we're hopefully building towards something pretty special. I think it's bath time for the kids. Matty's tucked away in the pool room. Uh, Matt, welcome to AFL 360. Good evening, guys. It's good to be with you. Yeah, it's great to have you with us. Uh, the milestone game, uh, it, it was a great celebration for, for you and for the team. Is that a special one for you? Yeah, it's definitely right up there. I think um, having the opportunity to run out with the girls, um, you know, the response from teammates, family and friends throughout the week was really good. So to go out there and, and really put in fo good four quarters of team footy, um, come away with a win in a derby, um, I couldn't ask for much more. Does that Glendenning medal hold a, a particular significance to you, given uh, how hard fought derbies have always been? I think being a West, West Australian boy, um, I've, I've watched pretty much every single derby. Um, I've had a lot to do with Ross Glendenning. He's an absolute champion of a fella, <coughs> really good mate and mentor for myself. So it really is an honour to win that medal. Matty, everyone's watched you play and I reckon everyone had doubts on you and then everyone's congratulated her, and everyone admires you as a footballer. <laughs> What have you seen this year, or in the last couple of years, as the game's developed? You're sitting there and do your own thing. Have you seen or how much has the game developed last year, and especially in the first three games, first three rounds this year? Well, I think the biggest thing that's helped me is that there's been a really big focus on contested footy, um, and that's obviously one of my strengths. So um, that's really helped. Um, and, you know, if you're winning that as a team, then you're going to win more games than you lose. So, um, yeah, I'm just really lucky in that regard. So when the changes come in and everyone says, oh, the game's so quick, the game's so quick, do you sit there and say, I've heard all this before, I'll be fine? Or do you ever start doubting that, you know, that, that there will be a place for you in two years' time? Yeah, it's funny. With all the rule changes and that sort of thing, the game really changes, even with interchange cap, players just adapt to the to way that it's it's moving. So um, one of the best things I love watching is the Hawthorne Footy Club. They're a, a team that, you know, their midfield doesn't have a lot of speed. Um, their best players in Lewis, Mitchell, Hodge, but they've got great footy minds um, and it's, it's great to see. So um, I can take a lot out of that. You probably watch a lot of grand finals and you've probably listened to a lot of people who lose grand finals. And they always say, if they win one next year, <clears throat> the loss really drove us. They always say it. Is the loss parked in your brain? Is it parked at the club? Or is it something that actually drives you? Yeah, it was something that I never bought into, um, saying that you had to lose one to win one. Um, but having been through that scenario, I think... Oh, from, a, from the time you start playing footy, all you ever want to do is play an AFL Premiership, so you're hungry. But having lost one, it definitely adds to that, to that real hunger and motivation to just improve and make sure you get yourself in a situation where you're an opportunity to just play finals. Um, so, you know, we're back to square one. Um, we've got so much work to do. This is such an even competition and um, you know, it's great. That's what you love. You want to compete and challenge yourself against the best side. So we learn a lot from that experience. Um, completely outplayed on the day. Hawthorne were just fantastic and, um, you know, that's going to drive, <coughs> drive us. How long did it take you to get over it, Matty? Or have you? I'm still not over it. Yeah, no, I'm still not. Um, it's not a day that goes by that for that fleeting second that you think about it. Um, it hurts a lot. Um, you know, we not, might not get that opportunity again. That could be your only opportunity and you've, you've let it go. So, um, you know, that's all I've ever wanted to do. Um, all the individual honours are great, but 
to be honest with you, the AFL Premiership is every AFL player's dream. Um, it's something you can share with your teammates forever. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to be fighting pretty hard to get ourselves an opportunity to just um, get close to that again. What have the past two weeks told you, Matty, about the state of the Eagles in 2016, the, the fail to Hawthorne and, and a really hard-fought, dogged effort to overpower Fremantle? Yeah, we've played three pretty different um, teams. Uh, Brisbane round one were really exciting. They're playing a fast, handball, um, high-tempo game. Um, obviously coming against the Hawks and there's still a gap. We're still not um, where we need to be to challenge Hawthorne. Um, and then on the weekend, you know, we always have, regardless of ladder positions, the Derby is always a really good contest. So the thing I take out of the Derby is that we were able to win the contested footy and play a pretty strong brand. Um, you know, we didn't finish off in front of goals, but we played the game in our half and that started to feel a lot more like us of last year. Um, so, you know, this time last year, we were tipped to be wooden spooners. We just absolutely got flogged by Freo. Um, but a couple of wins, you can build momentum. So I wouldn't be writing it off anyone at this stage of the year. How significant is Friday night footy to host it in the West and you get a Richmond team who, you know, they're being put through the mill at the moment? Yeah, we're really excited. We don't get too many opportunities <coughs> for Friday night footy. Um, we've got a lot of respect for the Richmond Footy Club. We'll be preparing for them at their very best. <coughs> They've got some really elite players in their midfield, um, obviously Jack Rewild up forward. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a great contest. They're, they're going to, they're backs against the wall and they always respond when they're in that situation. So um, yeah, it's going to be a great contest. Forget the individuals, we know Jack's a star, Matty. Why has Richmond been able to beat you? I think it's twice in the last three times. What do they do that concerns you guys? Well, I think they've, they've got a lot of speed and their ball use has been really good. Um, they are able to stop Freo after 12 wins at Subiaco last year. So they, they like the, the big oval over here. Um, but I think, yeah, we, we got over the line last year, midway through the year, and that was a really good turning point for our season. Um, it probably showed that we can play good footy at the MCG um, and we can beat some good sides too. So, like I was saying, um, you know, they, they've just got elite players and you know, they get it done. You're an ambassador for the AFL micro figures. We've got one. I know you've got one handy. How close is the hair, do you think, Matt? <laughs> well, it's, uh, I think it's doing me a lot of justice. It's pretty <laughs> blonde and mine's real red. So uh, they've looked after me there. Um, yeah, but the, yeah, the, footy, the micro figures, um, they're running a competition where um, you get to win an experience with your favourite footy mates. So um, yeah, it'd be a pretty good opportunity if, if you do win that competition. Where did the hair come from, Manny? <laughs> only, only Bev, only, only Betty. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know, mate. It's um, the old man's only got a light curl, so there's been a few questions asked. <laughs> Very good. Hey, great to catch up, Matt. Good luck on Friday night and for the duration of the season. It's uh, it's lovely of you to let us into our, into your home. Thank you very much, guys. Matt Prittis with us Thanks, on mate. AFL 360 and the way he spoke about the, the premiership dream which yeah, fuels one. players right throughout the league.